because you're going to lose any weight. And yeah. you're technically supposed to be losing weight because your dietitian hammer said you were going to lose weight this year. My, my, my dietitian hammer says I should be dead. You haven't lost any weight this year. You've gained, you've gained 40 pounds this year. What? I've gained over 200 pounds on YouTube. I weigh, bring the scale. I weigh too much, but I just I just gave up on carrying, honestly. Hi guys, did you see Jabba saying that he doesn't care? Well, guess what? I don't care, cause Jabba Cardo, you know, he got his name from Jabba. You're gonna see a little short I made in a minute, and man, I made myself laugh, because I don't like this guy, because he knows what he's doing. He knows what's up. He used to be a vegan for F's sake and he is eating his way to death and he eats for money, which is even more disgusting. He's like a prostitute for money, but all he has to do is eat food. <laughs> it's strange, <laughs> you know, but this guy has gone missing for two weeks and he generally is uploading every single day because he's hungry and he's fat and he loves cash money. So he's gone missing. People are speculating he dead. He's in hospital. It could be either of them or he could have just woken up to his freaking mad, mad ish. Because I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's dead. And uh, you know what? I don't want to offend anyone out there. I don't care because he, it's not like he's got an eating disorder. He knew what he was doing. He knew he was eating himself to death. But check out this little short I made. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy it. And I'll come back and talk a little bit Mawa. Some words from Jabba and his son, Nikocado Jabbacado. People are the most fucked up creatures on this planet. And you will continue to consume. And I'll continue to be two steps ahead. Delusions of grandeur. You are two steps closer to death, Jabba family. Yeah, how good was my Jabba voice? That was freaking awesome. Me? <laughs> I made that last year. This is how long this idiot's been going on like this for. Oh, bless you, you big fat fiend. I can't stand anyone that knowingly is killing themselves to make money. It's like watching a dude every day playing Russian roulette on YouTube because he makes money because people want to see if one of those bullets is going to blow his brain out. That's that's a real that's really what he's doing. But he's doing it on a much slower version because eventually the guy playing Russian roulette will blow his brains out because he's only got six bullets. To, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But this guy's doing it on a real slow mo. Apparently, he's nearly 400 pounds. And he's gone MIA off YouTube for two weeks, which is rare for him. He's gone off all social medias. He's gone. There is a, a lot of rumors around saying he D-E-D, -E -D, dead, son. I don't know if he's dead, but I do believe he's probably in hospital. Or he's gone to see Dr. Now. You know Dr. Now from 600 Pound Life. He's one of my fave doctors on any show because he doesn't give a shiznit. He just goes, no. That is not worth the weight, you fat... No, he doesn't say that. But he does get up on him and say it's not water weight and stop lying to yourself. And by the way, if you're not going to follow my program, you can F off. I love that guy. Speaking straight truth. So he's such a bad, bad role model for any kid or anyone watching this. Anyone that may even have an eating disorder watching this. Like going, yeah, see, look at him. He's eating all this shit every day and he's still alive. I can eat all this shit. Nah, man. Nah, man. It catches up with you. And I think he's like 30 now. And he was a vegan, which is even more surprising. So he knows about healthy food. He knows about health. He used to be real skinny. And then he was like, oh, I'll start doing mukbangs. This is, he started doing them when he was skinny. And he's actually put on this much weight over the years. Like, it is quite a bizarre thing when you think about it. Why is he so sad about that one burger? Because this is the last video he made. Is this the last burger he's ever going to have? Is that what he's trying to tell us? He's gone away to a health farm. 
and he's gonna come back with a new beach party! Woo! I can only hope, I can only hope that he comes to his senses. And if he does, I'll probably forgive him because I'm not a very uh, spiteful person. But at the moment, if he comes back mukbanging, I hate his guts. I hate Eugenia Cooney's guts because they know what they're doing. At least Eugenia Cooney has a very, very severe eating disorder. Jabicado does not have an eating disorder. He just loves cash money and he a prostitute for food. You feel me? You dig? I mean, I, I can't, I don't know any other way to say it. He eats for money, which is really sad. If anyone out there likes his content, let me know. I'm not going to give you a hard time. I just want to know why. Because in my opinion, I think it's only foreign people that like him. Because the, the, mukbangs came from Korea. That's where they originated from. And Koreans love mukbangs. So maybe it's they're the only people watching him. I don't know. But how do they not feel bad that they're enabling this dude to die? I don't know. It's a very, very odd concept. He really is a psycho. And he's probably because he's got too much grease in his veins. He can't think straight. Because he's got he's had fallouts with nearly every single creator. And and a lot of the creators say it's it was just a troll for him to get attention. And it probably is. Well, just go back to trolling, man. You don't need to do fatty, fatty, boom, boom, mukbangs. Just just go back to being a troll like your bestie, Trisha Paytas. She used to do mukbangs too, and they used to do them together. And trolls love trolling together. So why don't you just hook it up? You almost look nine months pregnant. She's what? I don't know, six months pregnant? You could pretend you're having a baby together. Even though you won't have a baby, you'll just have a big frickin' Big Mac, and that's about it. <laughs> I've decided since I make a video every day about Britney that once a week I'm going to make a video about someone else because I've started to realize if you stick to a subject and keep making videos on that same subject, YouTube likes it and they pump you up in the algorithms. So I'm going to keep doing Britney because I'm very intrigued by the whole Britta's saga. But I do, I'm interested in other people, especially people like this Ew, subprimer. He's a subprimer, actually. He is living on the bottom, right on the bottom. And he's doing it to kill himself. I don't understand. I, like, people around him, do, do they even give a shit? Like his family and friends? Like, dude, you're killing yourself. It is just beyond anything I can comprehend in my mind. And for the poor people who actually have eating disorders with, you know, obesity, like overeating... I feel for them because they can't even stop it. This dude can stop it any day. He doesn't have an eating disorder. So for any snowflake out there that comes and writes a comment on my channel saying, oh, you're really mean to a big fat guy. Oh, like, hey, hey, hey. I don't make fun of people that can't, that are, have got a medical problem and can't stop it. He can. And he's doing it purposefully. Like a food pimp. <laughs> That's all he is. He's a fat food pimp. Oh my god. Anyway, th hey, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. You know that. I love every single one of you. Don't forget it. Let the good vibes in and the bad vibes out. I'll see you next time. Cheers, ballers. Brr, brr.